Ever pondered if humans could genuinely power the matrix? Welcome to the realm of possibilities where we dissect and examine the intriguing concept of the matrix, a dystopian universe where humans are reduced to mere energy sources. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? The idea that we, as humans, could be used as batteries to power an entire simulated reality. But could this ever be more than just a science fiction trope? Before we dive deep into this fascinating concept, let's take a step back and consider the basics. What is the Matrix? For those who might not be familiar, the Matrix is a fictional universe where artificial intelligence has enslaved humans, using their bodies as a source of energy. Picture a vast, dark world where humans are not born but grown, their lives spent in a dreamlike state while their bodies are used as living power plants. It's a chilling vision of the future, but could it actually be possible? To answer this, we need to understand the concept of bioelectricity. Bioelectricity, in simple terms, is the production of electricity by living organisms, a phenomenon that's as natural as breathing. It's what allows your heart to beat, your muscles to move, and your brain to think. Every time you blink, every time you take a step, you're generating bioelectricity. But could this energy be harnessed? The human body is a marvel of nature. Think about it. We're essentially walking, talking power plants. Every beat of our heart, every breath we take, every thought in our minds generates energy. But how much energy are we talking about here? Could it be enough to power a city, a country, an entire simulated reality? The thought is tantalizing, isn't it? The idea that we, as humans, could be so powerful, so vital, that we could be the key to a new form of energy. So, we've established that humans produce bioelectricity. But how much could that be? We'll delve into this question and more in the following scenes. So sit back, relax, and let's continue our journey into the matrix. To understand the potential of human power, we must unlock the secrets of bioelectricity. Bioelectricity, in essence, is the electrical energy generated within our bodies. Now you might be wondering, how does our body produce electricity? Well, it all comes down to the fundamental building blocks of life. Cells. Each cell in our body is akin to a tiny battery, with a small voltage across its membrane. This is created by differences in concentrations of charged particles or ions inside and outside the cell. When a nerve impulse is triggered, a wave of electrical activity sweeps down the nerve fiber. This is bioelectricity in action, the very force that controls our heartbeat, stimulates our muscles, and allows us to think and feel. Now, let's talk numbers. Estimates suggest that the human body, with its trillions of cells, can theoretically produce around 100 watts of power. That's equivalent to a bright incandescent light bulb. But before you start imagining yourself lighting up a room, hold on. The truth is, most of this energy isn't readily available for us to tap into. It's used up by our bodies, fueling the countless biological processes that keep us alive and kicking. In fact, the energy we could feasibly extract is closer to a few dozen milliwatts. That's about enough to power a dim LED light. So, we're not quite walking power plants. We can't single-handedly run a microwave or a television set. Yet the energy we do produce is crucial. It's the spark of life, the electrical symphony that orchestrates our every movement, thought, and sensation. We're not quite power plants, are we? But what if we could harness all that energy? We've established the energy we produce, but how can we harvest it? Well, let's delve into the captivating world of energy harvesting. Imagine a world where the electricity powering your home appliances is derived from the very essence of your existence, your body's energy. Sounds like a plot straight out of a science fiction movie, right? But what if I told you that the science behind this concept is not as far-fetched as it seems? Energy harvesting, or energy scavenging, is a process that captures small amounts of energy that would otherwise be lost as heat, light, sound, vibration, or movement. We can harness this energy through various theoretical technologies, each uniquely fascinating. Let's take a look at a couple of them. First up, we have thermoelectric generators. They work on the principle of the Seebeck effect, named after the German physicist Thomas Johann Seebeck. In simple terms, these generators produce electricity by exploiting the temperature difference between two different materials. Now, picture this. Humans are warm-blooded creatures. We're constantly radiating heat, right? So, theoretically, we could use thermoelectric generators to convert our body heat into electricity. Next, we have piezoelectric materials. This is a big word, I know, but stick with me. These materials generate an electric charge in response to applied mechanical stress. In layman's terms, they create energy when they're squeezed or stretched. 
Now consider the human body again. Our hearts are always beating, our lungs are always expanding and contracting, and we're always moving in some way. This constant mechanical stress could, in theory, be converted into electricity using piezoelectric materials. So, the science of energy harvesting paints a thrilling picture of the possibilities. However, remember that these technologies are largely theoretical when it comes to harnessing human bioelectricity. There's a long, winding road of research, development, and ethical considerations ahead before we can even think about plugging into the matrix. With the right technology, could we turn humans into power sources? So, could we actually power the matrix with human bioelectricity? Now that's the million-dollar question. In the realm of science fiction, it's a tantalizing proposition, but let's take a closer look. First, we need to consider the energy requirements of a computer system like the Matrix. The Matrix, as we understand it, is a virtual reality universe, simulating an entire world and its inhabitants. The computational power to create and maintain such a system would be gargantuan. We're talking about exabytes of data processing every single second. That's a billion gigabytes, folks. Now, let's compare this to the amount of energy that could theoretically be harvested from a human body. The human body, at rest, produces around a hundred watts of power. That's about enough to light up a dimly lit room. But, for a human body to function, it needs to use most of this energy just to keep the heart beating, the lungs breathing, the brain thinking. So, the surplus energy we could harvest would be quite small. Even if we could somehow harvest all the energy from a human body without killing it, it would still not be enough. We'd need the energy of billions of humans just to power the matrix for a single second, and that's not even considering the energy required to keep those humans alive and in a dream state. So, powering the matrix with humans seems like a tall order. It's a big ask even for the most advanced technology. But then again, we're talking about a world where machines have taken over and reality can be manipulated at will. It's a world where the laws of physics as we know them don't necessarily apply, but let's not forget we're in the realm of science fiction. In this world, the impossible can become possible, and the improbable can become reality. It's a world where human imagination is the only limit, and that's what makes it so endlessly fascinating. We've journeyed through the realms of bioelectricity, energy harvesting, and the matrix itself. So, what have we learned? Let's revamp our memory banks a tad, shall we? We've discovered that the human body, a marvel of biological engineering, indeed produces its own form of energy, bioelectricity. Every heartbeat, every thought, every muscle twitch generates a tiny electrical charge. But here's the kicker. The amount of electricity produced by our bodies is relatively small. We're talking about 100 watts per day for an average adult. Yes, that's less than the energy required to power a light bulb. We've also ventured into the fascinating world of energy harvesting, where we learned that while it's technically possible to harness the bioelectricity generated by the human body, the process is not as straightforward as plugging into a power socket. It would require highly advanced, perhaps even yet undiscovered technology to efficiently capture and store this energy. And then we stepped into the dystopian world of the Matrix, a world where humans are reduced to mere power sources for intelligent machines. Here's where the realms of science and science fiction blur. Could the energy produced by a vast farm of humans truly power a virtual reality as complex and vast as the Matrix? When we crunch the numbers, it's clear that the energy output of the human body falls woefully short of the colossal demands of a system like the Matrix. But then again, we're talking about a world where machines have achieved singularity where the laws of physics might not apply as we understand them today. So, could we power the matrix with humans? Theoretically speaking, it's a stretch, but in the world of science fiction, who knows what's possible? After all, science fiction has a knack for becoming science fact. So, let's keep the lights on and our minds open because the future is sure to be electrifying.